This is the morning office for March 8th. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love, according to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit, and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The portion of the Psalter appointed for today is Psalm 81, verses 8 to 14. Hear, O my people, and I will admonish you, O Israel, if you would but listen to me. There shall be no strange God among you. You shall not worship a foreign God. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt and said, Open your mouth wide, and I will fill it. And yet my people did not hear my voice, and Israel would not obey me. So I gave them over to the stubbornness of their hearts, to follow their own devices. Oh, that my people would listen to me, that Israel would walk in my ways. I should soon subdue their enemies and turn my hand against their foes. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading for the book of the prophet Hosea. Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God, for you have stumbled because of your iniquity. Take words with you, and return to the Lord. Say to him, Take away all guilt, accept that which is good, and we will offer the fruit of our lips. Assyria shall not save us, we will not ride upon horses. We will say no more, Our God, to the work of our hands. If you, the orphan, In you the orphan finds mercy. I will heal their disloyalty. I will love them freely, for my anger has turned from them. I will be like the dew to Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the forests of Lebanon. His shoots shall sp spread out. His beauty shall be like the olive tree and his fragrance like that of Lebanon. They shall again live beneath my shadow. They shall flourish as a garden. They shall blossom like the vine. Their fragrance shall be like the wine of Lebanon. O Ephraim, what have I to do with idols? It is I who answer and look after you. I am like an evergreen cypress. Your faithfulness comes from me. Those who are wise understand these things. Those who are discerning know them. For the ways of the Lord are right, and the upright walk in them, but transgressors stumble in them. The Word of the Lord. Jesus, Savior of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Savior and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. My thought about silence for today comes again from Robert Cardinal Sara, who says the contemplative silence is like a big wave that carries us without being able to drown us. I think in some ways that is a good metaphor for what it's like to uh, be on a walk with God. To be with God, to be in God, is certainly more than we bargained for. Uh, we have talked all this time, I've been talking all this time, about silence as a practice that we should be cultivating. In reality, it's, it's a little more than we can manage. And if we were ever actually to succeed in it, it probably is more than we would be able to control. Someone just at the beginning of Lent was talking to me about a facility that's built somewhere in the Midwest for scientific or acoustical research, a building the inside of which is perfectly silent. 
and the fact that people often find they're unable to remain in this silent space. They have vertigo. They become so anxious that they have to leave. It, it's so disorienting to be in absolute silence that they have to return to having at least some residual noise in order to be able to be oriented. I think riding the wave of silence is just that. It is somehow trusting that something that is beyond our control and that threatens constantly to overwhelm us nonetheless is something deeply desirable, something we should be searching after, asking God to give us in a way that we can manage. I ask your prayers today for the day, the world, and for the church. Pray for those in our community who have no one to pray for them. Pray for those whose needs are unmet, but also unknown. Pray for all those who are hidden in our midst, whom we fail to see, whom we would prefer not to see. Pray also for the world and for all those places that are like those people, all the parts of the world that we would prefer to pretend don't exist the problems that we would prefer to pretend will simply take care of themselves that will go away without any help from us. And pray also for the church, for those places where it is persecuted, where it labors in silence, in secret, in obscurity, where it labors under persecution. Pray that in all places the church may have the courage to do its work. Grant us, O Lord, our strength, a true love for your holy name, so that, trusting in your grace, we may not fear we may fear no earthly evil, nor fix our hearts on earthly goods, but may rejoice in your full salvation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. 